I'm really excited to talk about the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. <laughs> Not only because I got it for free from Influencer, which was a huge deal for me, but because you guys know how the All Nighter uh, setting spray is like so famous and so good, and unfortunately it doesn't work for me. I was actually interested on testing the face primer because I wanted to see if there was a good alternative for that setting spray. Now, if you're new here, I'm an oily, acne-prone skin, so not all the products or new products work for me, but I have been testing this out for about three days and I wanted to tell you my results and if I liked it or not. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So first things first, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. It has 1.0 fluid ounces and it costs $36. It does include a pump, which I'm really Really excited about but one thing I noticed when I was looking at the claims of this primer is that it doesn't say who is it catered for so that was very interesting to me but also made me want to try it I was actually thinking on buying it when I received a email from influencer that I was gonna receive it for free and I was like <laughs> stoked <laughs> i feel like this is the first time that influencer sends me like makeup to review because usually they will send me like hair products or even food like candy so when i received this i was like oh my gosh this is amazing but as you know i'm still gonna keep it honest so i'm gonna tell you if i like it or not now i'm gonna tell you what it claims and how i felt like the product worked over the last three days now if you look into the box it says it's a face primer long wear foundation grip and it says that it preps it smooths and perfects your skin. It says like a stage 5 cleanser, all nighter face primer grips your foundation and won't want to let go. Our lightweight formula goes on sheer to perfect your skin, leaving it feeling smooth, hydrated, and slightly lifted. Now you can find it at Ulta and at Sephora. And I feel like Ulta and Sephora has more information about what it claims. So for example, Ulta says a smoothing and hydrating face primer that grips foundation into place and supports its staying power. So your look lasts all day. And then it says this long wearing complexion primer goes on sheer, silky soft to the touch, and leaves skin feeling hydrated. It preps and smooths the look of skin, then grips makeup in place so it lasts longer, but it's so lightweight that you can wear it solo. It reduces the look of fine lines and leaves skin feeling slightly lifted. It does sound like a miracle worker, <laughs> but I mean, after their hit on um, the setting spray, the all-nighter setting spray, I feel like they probably want to keep that thing going. Now, one of the things that I do love about this foundation in terms of packaging is the fact that it has a pump. My favorite primer is the Smashup Box Photo Finish Primer. And even though I've gotten used to apply the primer onto my face, sometimes you apply more than you should or you can't even control it. So let's say one day I'll apply more one day I'll apply less depending on the on the pressure that I put onto the packaging. I never liked the Fenty primer, but I did like that it had a pump. And I also enjoyed the Too Faced Hangover primer. That's one of like my favorite packaging so far. And this looks like that. I don't know if you've have used or seen the Too Faced Hangover Primer. The packaging seemed very convenient. The only thing is like I'm oily skin so the Hangover Primer does not work that well for my skin. So when I saw the packaging of this primer, I was really really excited and I was really appreciative of it. It doesn't apply too much and it's not as runny as the Hangover Primer. For example, in the Hangover Primer, I would just use one pump. In this formula, I would use two pumps. Now when I first used this primer, I used one pump and I tried to like spread it all over my face but then when I noticed it wasn't enough. So even though I didn't use another pump, the next day I did use two pumps. Now because I didn't know how uh, my makeup was going to wear during the day, I decided not to put any uh, moisturizer that day. And if you've been watching my videos for a little while now, you know that I love the Origins uh, moisturizer but the new formula is not working for me. So right now I'm using niacinamide as a moisturizer, one of you did recommend it for me for for my, like my dark spots and that's what I've been using as a moisturizer and it's working very well. I'm actually waiting until like my dark spots and like my face clears up a little bit so I can talk more about it and give the subscriber a proper shout out because he did help me on that on the comments and I really appreciate it. That's what I've been using as a moisturizer and I feel like my skin it's been hydrated but because this primer is hydrating as well and I'm oily skin I didn't want to over hydrate or over moisturize. I decided to use it without a moisturizer the first day. I did use it with my Estee Lauder Double Wear and you guys know I love my Estee Lauder Double Wear and it does last me a long time but I wanted to see how they both play together because one thing that I've noticed with the Estee Lauder Double Wear is that if I use primer sometimes I'll get some spots like white spots under like on my chin on my pores and then I know that that primer really doesn't work for me or for that combination of foundation but I can gladly report that that didn't happen with this primer which I was really really excited about I also noticed that my skin looked really nice and smooth 
smooth and it lasted all day. Now you guys know the Estee Lauder double wear lasts all day in itself. So it was harder for me to test out if it was the primer or if it was the foundation. But I remember that day a client told me that my skin looked really nice and she complimented my skin. And I wasn't too sure if it was just because of the primer, but I want to think it was. Now the next day or the second day, I decided to put it really to the test. So I decided to apply one layer on this side and nothing on this other side. And I really saw a difference. Again, I didn't use a moisturizer before I did this because this is hydrating enough. I wanted to see if I got oily or if my foundation lasted more. And that's when I truly saw a difference. The foundation sort of like rubbed off on here. But remember, I didn't use the Estee Lauder with no primer or no moisturizer underneath. I didn't get that much oily because you know the Estee Lauder is damn bomb. <laughs> So I didn't get too much oily, but it did rub off a little bit on my cheeks right here. And then this side looked like perfect, flawless, and I felt like it really helped with the staying power of the foundation. And then on the third day that I tested this, now that I knew that it helped with the staying power, I decided to play with the moisturizer. So I did use my niacin niacinamide i think it's called <laughs> niacinamide <laughs> yeah i applied the niacinamide first and then i applied the primer and then i used my foundation and they didn't interact at all so my skin looked really really nice all day i did get oily but it didn't look gross it looked more like glowy but i did wear my foundation for over eight hours and i didn't blot so i thought that was a really good thing i do feel like i did over moisturize a little bit so probably if i used um less niacinamide it would have worked a lot better but just to keep in mind i mean i feel like this primer is hydrating enough so if you usually use uh, a lot moisturizer just use a little less and see if that works now to be completely honest i really want to test out this primer like with different variations of you know combinations like maybe uh, different moisturizers or different uh, foundations and stuff but so far so good i have been enjoying it i do like it a lot i like that it plays very well with my moisturizer so far and with my foundation i do feel like everything it claims it does i'm going to show you clips on how i I applied the primer uh, before this video because you can tell that it gives you like a really natural glow when you're applying it it's like a white cream it's not too runny it's not too watery it has like some consistency to it and then when you're applying it on your face it like kind of sinks right in it has like a subtle tackiness to it but it leaves you with a glow like a really nice glow at the same time i do feel like it really smooths your pores as you can tell it doesn't like sink on my fine lines at all and it helps you with my skin looking a lot better a lot healthier you guys know i don't have healthy skin i have been working so hard towards it but i really don't i have just like a normal acne prone skin so i do feel like this helps a lot and i'm really excited about it all that tackiness i do feel like it helps with a uh, grip up your makeup and making it stick and stay all day and if you ask me i'll say that it does work for every skin type i'm not sure dry skin because it's hydrating but it's not like overly hydrating you know like it's a really in between so if you're dry skin you probably want to like apply moisturizer first and then this but if you're combination and oily skin i do recommend you to use this maybe be a little lighter on your moisturizer or even skipping it completely i did use it with moisturizer before this video but i did wait like a minute or two before i applied the primer just to make sure that my moisturizer synced in very well now i know i have been using this primer for just three days but so far i'm enjoying it so so much and i'm really excited because i do feel Feel like it will be a replacement in my case for the all-nighter setting spray i will be very attentive though because i know that the setting spray breaks me out so i'm going to make sure that i pay attention if this breaks me out because if it does then i'm gonna be so sad <laughs> But so far it hasn't and I'm really excited about it. So, so if you're being eyeing this baby, I do feel like you should go and test it out for yourself. Usually you could just go to Sephora and ask for a sample if you don't want to like spend $36. To be honest, I wasn't going to get a sample. I was going to get the full product. <laughs> But I'm trying to be more conscious this year in 2020 and not like spend a lot of money on makeup that I'm not going to use. Because I realized last year I had so many foundations that didn't work for me and I never returned because I felt like so bad returning them. So I think this year I'm going to try to use more samples, like go to Sephora and get more samples instead of buying the full product and not using it. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you tested this primer or if you're planning on testing it. Let me know if you like it or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. That way you get notified every time I upload. Bye!